Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. A reading from Psalm 139. Yahweh, you have searched me and you know me. You know if I am standing or sitting. You read my thoughts from far away. Whether I walk or lie down, you are watching. You are intimate with all my ways. A word is not even on my tongue, Yahweh, before you know what it is. You hem me in before and behind, shielding me with your hand. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, a height my mind cannot reach. You created my inmost being and stitched me together in my mother's womb. For all these mysteries, I thank you. For the wonder of myself, for the wonder of your works, my soul knows it well. My frame was not hidden from you while I was being made in that secret place, knitted together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my body even there. All of my days were written in your book, all of them planned before even the first of them came to be. How precious your thoughts are to me, O oh God. How impossible to number them. I try to count them. They are more than the sand. I come to the end. You are still with me. A reading from Psalms and Proverbs. Your decrees are my delight. They are my counselors. Where there is no guidance, the people fall. But in abundance of counselors, there is victory. Do not desire the ruler's delicacies, for they are deceptive food. A reading from Luke chapter 4. Jesus returned in the power of the Holy Spirit to Galilee, and his reputation spread throughout the region. He was teaching in the Galilean synagogues, and all were loud in their praise. Jesus came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. Entering the synagogue on the Sabbath, as was his habit, Jesus stood up to do the reading. When the book of the prophet Isaiah was handed to him, he unrolled the scroll and found the passage where it was written, The Spirit of our God is upon me, because the Most High has anointed me to bring good news to those who are poor. God has sent me to proclaim liberty to those held captive, recovery of sight to those who are blind, and release to those in prison, to proclaim the year of our God's favor. Rolling up the scroll, Jesus gave it back to the attendant and sat down. The eyes of all in the synagogue were fixed on him. Then he said to them, Today, in your hearing, this scripture is fulfilled. All who were present spoke favorably of him. They marveled at the eloquence of the words on Jesus' lips. They said, surely this isn't Mary and Joseph's son. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. 